Do you have footage that looks like this, but you really want it to look like this? Color grading the standard profile in a camera seems to be a very hard task, but I'm gonna show you that it's actually really simple. If you're a beginner and color grading is something that you struggle with, then you might be in the right place because I'm gonna show you how to turn your standard profile videos into cinematic masterpieces, hopefully. All of it being done in Final Cut Pro. No LUTs, no plugins, no fluff. As a beginner, shooting in a standard color profile, also known as Rec. 709, is pretty typical. The main reason I recommend it for beginners is because it's relatively easy to expose and all the colors are baked in. That being said, the footage straight out of camera might be a little bit flat and lifeless, but there are some things to do in post that you can give it a little bit more life. I do wanna make a note that if you're shooting in a standard color profile, it is so crucial that you have your camera settings correct, especially your white balance. If you're filming a video like this with a key light, it's really simple because you could just match your white balance to the white balance of the light and you'll have good coloring. But if you're out in the field, it's a little bit trickier, especially if you're in sunlight and it switched to clouds and then you go indoors, you're always gonna have to be adjusting that. And when you shoot in a standard profile, it's a lot harder in post to keep a high quality image while making those adjustments. First, open up Final Cut Pro and push Command 7 to pull up the scopes. This is where the magic happens. I always start with a color board. You want all the data to range from 0 to 100. 0 being the shadows, 100 being the highlights, and everything in between being the midtones. Go to the Exposure tab and adjust the highlights to get them as close to 100 without going over. If you go over, you'll start to lose data in your image and it'll start to break down. Then pull the shadows close to 0 without going below. For videos like this, I like to have the midtones between 50 and 75. If you happen to shoot with the wrong white balance, I like to fix that in the color wheels. So go to the color wheels and tweak the global temperature slider until the whites actually look white and the skin tones feel natural. So after you do these color corrections, you can start to play with how you want the video to look. If you want it to look warmer, push your highlights into the yellows and the oranges. Or if you want a moody cool vibe, bring your shadows down to the blue side. It's very important at this step to make sure that you keep it very subtle. Over editing is very easy to do and it's gonna look really tacky and unprofessional. All right, and here's a bonus tip for the video and that is the use of adjustment layers. If you go into the titles tab, you can grab the adjustment layer and put it over your footage. Now you just make your color changes to this adjustment layer and any clip underneath it is gonna get that effect. All right, if this video helped you out, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more Final Cut Pro tips. Let me know what type of camera you're shooting on in the comments below. I personally shoot an S-Log3, so if that's something that you would be interested in learning on how to color grade in, let me know and I can drop a video like that as well. All right, and now go out there and get some sick footage and make it look good with these uh, new tips that you learned. All right, peace.